Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorials. In this video uh, tutorials, I'm gonna show you how to transform XML document into uh, Pandas data frame. Here I have uh, an XML document which contains a large amount of information, uh, customer uh, transaction information. So uh, uh, this uh, XML document uh, has a root element. Every doc XML document has a single root element. Uh, and uh, this root element uh, also has a sub uh, child element. The child element uh, transaction uh, has an attribute as customer ID, uh, product name, sales order ID. So uh, in uh, when when you transform this uh, XML document into Pandas uh, data frame, the attributes are uh, transformed uh, into uh, Pandas uh, columns and the text values, the attribute uh, values transformed into uh, rows records in uh, Pandas uh, data frame. Let's get started. First, we import uh, important uh, libraries as pan, uh, PD, and we import xml.e3element3.element3 as et. Then uh, we parse the element three, three, uh, I mean, uh, the transaction uh, document, the documented transactions dot XML, tran transactions dot XML. Now uh, there is a method that e roots, let's uh, a root element. The e3 dot get root element from uh, a transaction document. Let's try e root dot attribute. Uh, in this case, there is no uh, a root element. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, attributes in the root element. Uh, the root element has no attribute. Uh, let's add an attribute a and uh, the text and we uh, rerun this program and let's this is uh, a root element has an attribute a with a text the a root dot text uh, i mean uh, a root has no text uh, value uh, i mean a text is uh, outside of this so this has not uh, now uh, our uh, target is extracting uh, the child element attributes along with uh, data. Now let's uh, define a function that transform transform the XML document into dictionary. XML doc. First, we create an attribute that contains XML doc root element attributes attributes the then for every xml element in xml doc attributes uh, i treat over uh, transaction the sub element or child elements in uh, transactions root element then uh, for uh, let's create a dictionary the dictionary first we copy uh, the attributes dot copy then the update the dictionary i mean uh, update the dictionary with xml dot attributes this transaction uh, uh, i treat over uh, this transaction elements elements and uh, then store or update the attributes into uh, a dictionary a dictionary then attributes. Now we uh, return the dictionary. Yield is uh, one way of uh, a return uh, that returns a large data or produces a large data or infinite uh, data. So this is important way, an, an efficient way of producing a big data. Now we have finished and run this. Uh, let's uh, uh, call transform, 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 
transform XML and we uh, pass roots element as uh, argument to the parameter XML doc in the transform dot uh, tra transform underscore XML function e root then uh, let's trans this is a generator so the yield uh, is a generator that generates uh, an execution an execution so uh, we have to uh, convert this then uh, we uh, trans uh, we uh, convert this to uh, data frame df trans uh, df pd dot data uh, frame we convert for example uh, let's uh, first list trans here uh, we converted a dictionary the the yield generated a dictionary but uh, first we uh, convert uh, that generator into list then uh, this uh, converted uh, into list inside this list there there, uh, there is there are a dictionary elements with key value pairs every element iterates over and over transaction a3 i mean uh, this is not important three is not customer id this this every information is transformed then uh, we uh, trans df we call pd dot data frame simply we uh, insert this trdf now it is converted into uh, pandas data frame now it is a struct uh, converted into transformed into a structured format the rows and columns of this uh, trdf dot shape I mean, 9,426 rows, records, and four columns. The columns are the customer ID, product name, sales, order ID. So uh, here, the attributes are customer ID, product name, sales, order ID. This is a text, so it is not uh, important uh, now. This is uh, uh, considered as uh, the uh, I mean the increment ID uh, actually pandas automatically create an increment ID so it is not necessary to extract uh, this if necessarily we can extract this uh, using uh, dot text uh, element uh, attribute dot text now we uh, let's ask one question what is the what is the total sales for order ID 1080. So in this case, TRDF, TRDF, a simple uh, analysis, order ID equals 10080. I mean, this is capital. So the or, uh, total sales for order ID 10080 is 637.04. Uh, so this is what a simple analysis. Of. So you can further analysis after uh, transforming the XML document, uh, uh, a semi-structured document into structured uh, document. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share this uh, YouTube channel.